Hello everybody, Brian Keeler here at the Rijk Museum in Amsterdam. I'm standing in front of a uh, magnificent uh, group portrait and in a minute I'm going to show you one of the most famous group portraits. They're both of militia companies. This is the lesser known one, in fact uh, I hadn't heard of this uh, painter before. His name is Bartholomew van der Heist and he lived from 1613 to 70 and this painting is of 1643 of this militia company. But it's really a, a tour de force. Portraiture. This is my favorite uh, ensemble of the of the painting of this fellow right here. It's really an exquisite portrait. The way that he's holding this uh, glass upside down, the the pose of his hand is kind of a cliche of uh, of Dutch painting of the golden age. You'll see this pose used a lot. Franz Hals used a lot. Rembrandt did some soft portraits in it, and so it's a. a just a wonderful portrait by itself. Maybe if you go in close to, to look at the, that portrait in particular. Really wonderfully painted, you know, beautiful paint quality, wonderful expression, and nice uh, light. But one of the things that I'm amazed at is the pants on this uh, fellow next to him, these uh, silver pants, they're just really exquisite. And um, if you come over here to this fellow here, I think it's really remarkable. This fellow with the uh, with the gun, wonderful pose, great uh, action looking, and uh, I'm not sure what those things that are hanging from his coat are, but there's a lot of detail in this painting, and uh, it's uh, you know really a tour de force of overall composition and detail. So now, if you'll look over this way, this way behind me is one of the most famous paintings ever painted by Rembrandt. Van Ren, it's called the, the Night Watch. Um, it's it's a, a wonderful painting. Uh, some people refer to it as the Afternoon Watch. Uh, it's under um, restoration here now. And uh, I was just reading about it last night. They've discovered some previously unknown pigment in it that uh, uh, they consider important, but uh, it's being restored probably inch by inch. But it's uh, you know, one of those paintings that were it's sort of in our collective conscious as uh, an important part of our artistic heritage, and um, it was reputed to have not been received well, and it's uh, cut down from the original one. The original one was even larger. There's a copy of it uh, that was made, so that's how they know that it was uh, cut down. But uh, it's interesting to compare this painting to the other painting behind me because uh, of the paint quality and the. Uh, difference in the uh, uh, application of paint. Rembrandt was much freer, brushier, looser, and more spontaneous, whereas this painter was uh, uh, much more controlled. Both are uh, highly accomplished pieces, but this is the one that gets the uh, the top billing, <laughs> is Rembrandt's painting. It's sort of similar to um, Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper in, uh, in uh, Milan. Uh, Leonardo's gets the top billing. But it's actually a disaster. On the other wall, there's this wonderful uh, fresco painting that it's uh, very accomplished, but uh, nobody stops to look at that. So it's probably similar here that everybody goes to the uh, to the night watch rather than the painting by Bartholomew. So uh, I'm really in my element here, being a portrait painter, seeing these wonderful uh, uh, paintings of uh, masterpieces of portraiture, especially by Rembrandt and Franz Hals and Vermeer. So thank you so much for your attention. I hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.